All right, let's see what happens. Let me change some settings. All right, so I'm testing this again. Hopefully it'll work out better. I already know that for Facebook, I have to be on Facebook to see the comments. Um, and hopefully I can get the chats from YouTube to come over to the app itself. And then we should be good. So I got some Paul Pelletier pencils on a comic he did, Fearless, by Marvel. Well, from Marvel. I've been doing a lot of his work lately, you know, because he's got some good work. Um, so I figured, you know, why not? Practicing ink and professional stuff is always awesome. I bought some of his work in uh, some conventions and whatnot. So life is beautiful. So anyway, like I said, I'm testing it again. I see it's already working on Facebook, which is awesome. Uh, and I just got the, yep, annoying cargo. <laughs> I see that I got something on Twitch. Let's see what we got going on. It's been a while, annoying cargo. Yeah, we used to play Destiny together. Yeah, way back in the day. Way back in the day. Um, and he's got, hey, Mixer. He's picking me up. So Mixer is working. Oh, yes. All right, so Mixer is working. All right. Facebook is working. Twitch, I just got the notification on Twitch that it's working. So I guess let me find YouTube. Uh, let me see what's going on here. See if YouTube is working. And then we'll be going. Yeah, I remember you. Annoying Cargo, man. Of course, man. We used to play a lot of Destiny together. Yeah, back in the day. And YouTube is working. So you, it's all working. And I didn't even have to get the paid version. This is even more amazing. I am feeling some kind of way about this now. So, yes. Um, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Well, let me stop talking. <laughs> let me stop talking. And let me start some inking. So basically, I, I like to ink. And inking is basically uh, taking someone's uh, finished pencils and putting inks on it so it could be printed on a comic book. In my case, though, you know, I'm not a professional. I just do this for fun. Uh, you know, so uh, why not? You know, why not? Why not? Just so we can get something going. I invited some of my friends that draw. Um, but, yeah. You got to get back to work. What? You work now? Man, you must have you've grown up. You were just like a teenage man. Oh, man. Just a reeking in his comics. Hey, what's up, brother? I'm over here flying solo. I'm testing something out. If you want to jump in and you have time and your wife is not giving you the side eye, I'll send you the link on uh, Gmail. Um, and if not, I understand, brother. I know it's late where you're at on a Sunday, but you're more than welcome to jump on the stream. I'm just playing around. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to stream on different on different platforms. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I think I finally got it to where it's working the way I want it to. But so basically what's going on right now, it's streaming on my Facebook page. It's streaming on Twitch. It's streaming on Mixer. It's streaming on YouTube. Is that it? That's all I got it going on? YouTube, Mixer, Twitch. Facebook. Yeah. So it's streaming on four platforms at once. And I got like a semi consolidated chat here. Yeah. I just finished cleaning house, Brian. I just finished cleaning house myself. My wife is working. So I had to clean the house by myself. Usually we do a, a tag team thing. Yeah. But you know, I'm just practicing uh, my inks and uh, that, you know, I figured since I'm going to be inking, why not stream? Why not go on and figure out this whole RNTP thing while I'm at it and go on different platforms, you know, and see if I can get it to work, you know, see if I can get it to work. And uh, if it works, awesome. The consolidated chat seems to be working pretty good. I'm enjoying that. So I can see who's going from where. I even had a friend from Mixer uh, hit me up, man. That's that's awesome. So that's that's good. You know, like I said, these are pencils from Paul Pelletor. This is uh, <laughs> Annoying Vapor says, hey, 
And uh, it's called The Fearless by Paul Pelletor. Well, Paul Pelletor did the pencils. The Fearless is from Marvel. I grab a lot of Paul Pelletor's pencils because this dude is amazing artist. And um, and his pencils are so finished. And uh, he's a super humble dude. I met him at the con. Dude is great, man. Dude is great. And uh, so in order to finish, you know, in order to practice penciling, uh, inking, it's what what better way than to grab some professional pencils and put your inks to it and see if it makes it look good. I don't know if you've been watching any of my um, inks videos. <laughs> I know Vapor says, Derry, my man. What's up, Vapor, man? I can't believe it's been a long time since we talked, buddy. Long time. This is my other passion, man. Playing video games is one passion, <laughs> one hobby anyway. And then uh, learning how to ink and draw is the next one. So right now I'm just setting up the framework, the borders, the panels. Thanks, just a recap, man. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, brother. I'm not expecting it's Sunday afternoon. I'm not expecting a lot of uh, a lot of traffic. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. I appreciate all the thumbs up, man. I appreciate all the thumbs up, man. I can't believe that people have found me on Mixer, man. I I don't know. Uh, I know him. Can you hear me? Am I am I coming through? Yeah, so it's going out everywhere. Unfortunately, I can't find I can never get Mixer to work on my phone, so I got to figure that out. So I don't know if they can hear me on the uh, Facebook side. But hey, hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'll look at those streams later on and see how those came out. I guess technically if I wanted to, I could just stream on Facebook and then upload it to YouTube, but then it won't be live on YouTube. And I think more people enjoy the live. Oh, Baranya, how you doing? I think the people on uh, YouTube enjoy more the live streams than they do um, the recorded ones. But uh, the Mixer folks, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I don't know about the Mixer, folks, and I don't know where I put my phone at. <laughs> so I can't even go on Mixer. Oh, well. It, it is what it is. I, it's kind of early, um, so I was just testing it out. I'm looking at my Facebook, though, and it seems that um, that on Facebook it seems to be working. Um, I don't know. Kind of, I guess. It seems to be stuck. Let me look at the Facebook again. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Now it's not stuck. Hey, New Hero Comics, how you doing, brother? It's a long time no see there, Hillel. I'm over here running solo, so don't mind me. Wait a minute. I just lost it, I think. At New Hero Comics, typed something and disappeared. That's not good. Ah, trusty sidekick is in the house. Uh, so there seems to be a little lag between the chat and what's going on. Let me check out. Restream, restream, restream. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Uh, it's all good. Um, I'm just chilling, man. And uh, so I'm just testing it out. So apparently it seems to be working. It seems to be going to my YouTube my Facebook, Mixer, people saw me. That's awesome. And, um, wow, you know, I can't complain. Bad thing is, throughout all the platforms, five people watching. But it's good. It's fine. It's beautiful. Uh, I, can't even I can't even be mad about it. I can't be mad about it. 
So it seems like the test is successful. It seems like the test is successful. So I'm kind of digging it. It is kind of wonky on the on the Facebook side. I don't know. And on the YouTube side, what's going on on the YouTube side? Everything seems to be working. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So everything seems to be working. That's awesome. All right. Let me close YouTube out because I think that's what's causing, uh, causing some, some issues. And let me go back to um, Facebook to make sure that there's nobody in the chat on Facebook hitting me up. Because that, no, 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 no. No, I did not draw this page at all. This is a uh, Paul Pelletier pencils. Okay. And um, I am just, you know, just going to ink it because you got to practice inking somehow. And I'll figure, you know, that um, why not? Let me create a quick banner so everybody knows Paul. Pelletier pencils, my inks, there you go, add banner, and there you go, there you go, no confusion, that's who drew it, and I'm just inking it, <laughs> I don't want to take credit for nothing I didn't do, you know, and I never want to take credit for anything I didn't do, all right, so, oops, back to here, Now, let me see what kind of we got going on. Let's see what's up with this. All right, all right. Okay, so that's good. I'm, the chat seems to be working. That's awesome. Facebook seems to be doing whatever Facebook does. Seems to be a little laggy and choppy. Um, the chat seems to be working. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll just keep rocking and rolling because it seems to be working and that's all I wanted to see. So if any of y'all follow me on any other social medias, you can check it out for yourselves and uh, see what's going on. Let's see. Ryan says, let me put this on Front Street. Ryan says, when I do direct fan art, I draw the sketch from ground up, from reference picture, like my sketches of Bob Layton's Iron Man. Nice. I don't draw anything. Most of the time, I just practice inking. I, I'm, not, I'm not really like an artist artist like you guys. Just a little guy who enjoys putting inks down. You know, and in the meantime and in between time, like I said, I'm running solo. Um, trust us, okay. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, no, Trusty, I'm only Manuel Correa. No, I'm only streaming. I sent the link out if y'all want to join me. It's more than welcome, guys. It's it's in the dog stars. Um, I'm, what I'm testing out is I thought I would have to get the paid version of... Uh, StreamYard to able to be, to able to stream to multiple platforms, but I was able to figure something else out. So I'm testing it out now. I'm like streaming to Facebook, uh, Mixer, Twitch, and, and uh, YouTube. You know. So yeah, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. So I've been working on this. Well, I've actually been cleaning house most of the day, and I had to go run some errands for the wife. But now that I'm done with all that, and I'm trying to figure this out, I'm trying to do it, you know? Let me see. Um, copy link address. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Is it else supposed to be on?
I don't know if he's supposed to be on. But you know what? I'm going to send him the link. You know? It's been a while since I talked to the man. And uh, see what happens. He says, hey, Manny. And there you go. There you go. Trusty says hi to Maranya. Everybody's happy. Checking out Restream. Make sure it's still streaming. Yeah, it's still going strong. Put it back on Facebook to see if I can, if any, oh, shoot. Uh, put it back on Facebook. Make sure nobody's hit me up on the chat. I accidentally closed out Restream. I hope that doesn't mess up. <laughs> The stream. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't. Yeah, New Hero Comics. I'll send you the link. If you want to come on, you don't have to. Been a while. I got a feeling if you come on though, some people of the of the past might join you. So there you go. And uh let me go back to Facebook, make sure everything is good to Geo. Wow, man, this is working pretty great. Uh, and I'm I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. So yeah. I'm pretty stoked. Keeping an eye on the chat, making sure nothing is happening. Uh oh. Wait a minute. You hear comics yeah, to stream. Hello? Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Not much, man. Just chilling. It's been a while since we since we had a chat. I know it has been since forever. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if he was still doing Shabbat, so I was like, "I right, should I invite him?" But he's on, so obviously he's got his electronics with him. No, uh, Shabbat was uh, yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I don't. I'm not really up to speed. I I hear you. Plus, there's the whole day difference and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm not up to speed on on everything, and I don't want to be disrespectful to people's, you know. Oh. Uh, I, I appreciate it. You know, so I was like, oh, I'll invite him because he's on. So I'm assuming he's good to go. Yeah, no, I, uh, I I went to bed and then I woke up after about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of bed. Just one of those nights where I feel like being awake. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so how's everything been going for you, brother? Good. We just, uh, we moved. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, in fact, I'm sitting in a house full of boxes. I have no internet. So oh, I'm no. from my phone. <laughs> oh lordy and i invited you and i didn't even know now nah, but it's good if you if you got no. stuff to do um you know i i i'm not mad at you no i'm mom happy to be here with you i i, I have no, nothing to do really i'm just i'm uh <laughs> you know uh tomorrow i'm gonna go try to get, get internet and um get my computer set up get my new office set up right, uh, right. you know I've been, uh, the nice thing has been that uh, I was messing around the last few days. I started doing a bunch of, uh, you know, hand drawn art. I've been mm -hmm. doing digital for so long that, that you know, you know, it's amazing when you, when you, after you've done digital for so long and you go back to like the traditional art, you know, art with the uh, pencils and inks and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I had this much control. It just seems like my control of my pencil is, is like a hundred times better. I keep hearing uh, that. Yeah, it's very strange. I, I don't know what it is about digital, but it's almost like it makes your your traditional a lot better. So, um, and then uh, today, I thought, yeah, I don't my my computer's set up, but I've got my iPad. I'm gonna try to see how how can, how it goes. With, uh, I'm just gonna do uh, a, a comic page in Procreate. Oh, Procreate and, is amazing, dude. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I, was, I was amazed at how quickly I was able to knock out a page. 
Procre- um, the workflow on Procreate is so much faster than Clip Studio. Well, you know, it, it's, I mean, it's got just as, a lot of features. Um, the one thing you get to worry about is um, you can't make as many layers yeah. um, unless you're very careful. But no, it's, it's great. The, uh, the perspective tool is fantastic. Uh, the grid is great. I use the grid to, to lay out my, my borders. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I can play around with the perspective tool. Which is, is which is a lot of fun and able to do nice backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's no, it's great. I, I I took one of the uh, pages I did by hand, and I used it as sort of a tool. I just kind of looked at it, and I I, I I sort of recreated the same page on Procreate. Mm-hmm. I mean, I zipped, through, I just flew through it. I, just, I, I was like going, oh my gosh, like it took me, uh, it took me a few, you know several hours. To do it by hand, but doing it in Procreate, it was very quick. I think part of that was because, you know, I, even though I was working on on, on the eleven by seventeen page at three hundred and fifty DPI, I was still because I was able to kind of shrink it down. I was able to knock it out, you know, kind of from afar, easier and faster. Mm-hmm. I, I know it's, it's amazing. So, um, so the Procreate page looks better than my hand drawn page. Even yeah. though, it, 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 I don't know, it's just, it's, I, was, I had a lot of fun with it today. Yeah, so, Procreate uh, is amazing. I use it to do my, uh, I don't know if you've seen any of my time-lapse videos for inking. I have seen, I've seen a couple of them, yes. It, they're done on Procreate. Uh, it's great because it automatically records your, 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 your strokes. Yep. All I well, do is know, export it and uh, create it into a YouTube video. I, I, I've done the same thing. In fact, I, I've done that. And I've actually gotten jobs through it. Like I, I posted those, I, I posted those videos in LinkedIn. Oh yeah. And I, yeah, I got a gig from a, a, a from a, a college here. Um, it was, it's called the Technion, and it's in mm-hmm. it's in Haifa, and um, they had a medical they have a medical college there, and so they invited me in to do this holiday uh, event, and I just did caricatures of people. And what I did was I did, 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 did the character, caricatures, and then I emailed them both the PNG file and the speed video of me drawing them. Yeah, that's all. That, that's they, all awesome, isn't it? They love it. Oh, they love it. They, it was a big hit. Um, they wanted me to come back and do it again, but this time they wanted me to do like a, a hundred people up front and then like four hours at there. But we couldn't we couldn't agree on a price, unfortunately. Right. 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 Uh, you know, but. Uh, no, I got I got that gig through there. I had a clown guy who, who's a clown. He contacted me, and he said, uh, "Hey, can you draw do a coloring page that I can hand out at events I go to?" I was like, "Oh, sure." So I mean, I did that very quickly and got that out to him. And he's like, "Oh, this is better than I thought it would be." I was like, "Well, I'll take that compliment, even though it sounds sounds kind of backhanded, but." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, because uh, it depends on how, how you record. I, I have it set up so it does the highest quality, and then I export it on 4K, which takes okay. a little bit longer. Um, but I think it gives it, like, some of my videos I export on 4K, and the one that I did on 4K looks way better than uh, than the other ones that I did. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe that exporting at 4K. The only problem is, of course, you know, it takes so much longer to export. Not to export, but... To upload to uh, YouTube because I upload them straight to YouTube, and then use the um, the little uh, audio library and attach a song yeah. to it and call it a day. And you know, of course, sure, I I export it, so I export it from Procreate to iMovie. You know, maybe put a title and a caption or whatever on iMovie. Then from iMovie, I export it to YouTube. I'm sorry, I missed. Oh, a step I there. totally forgot. I've got. I can use iMovie. On here, I totally forgot about that. I, in college, I used iMovie to, to edit stuff together. I loved it. I loved iMovie. Uh, yeah, you can use. I, I've been using iMovie, um, so I could put like little text titles and stuff like that. Sure. And then, uh, then I export it to uh, YouTube. Well, I, 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 I export it to, to YouTube, but I also do a special export to LinkedIn because. Um, it's better for your, uh, you know, your data and, and, and whatever. If you, if you do a direct upload to LinkedIn, 
but yeah, it's 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 it's, just, it's fantastic. Nice. Well, give me a second. Let me uh, let me say hello to uh, JCT Outdoors, who's joined us, and uh, the Unbreathable Skunk Girl. Of course, Manny's in the house. Tank is in the house. Uh, hey, Ryan is in the house. Uh, who else is in the house? I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, man. No, but that's what I've been doing. And I, I find it so much easier. I like the workflow um, because, you know, you can use your fingers to rotate, spin it, and double tap yep. to undo, triple tap to redo. Uh, yep. If you hold the pencil, it'll do your straight line or your, you know, circles or whatever. Um, right. The only problem I had with it's it's the inking tools. I can't find, I don't find them to be quite as nice as Clip Studio. Maybe I just need to find some better brushes. You you can there's there's a guy on on YouTube called Ergo Josh, mm -hmm. and he 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 has uh he creates brushes specifically for Procreate. Cause uh, it and, seems like the ones that come are not are not really that great. Yeah, that's I, that's a common complaint. The common complaint is people don't like the brushes that come with it, but there are Procreate brushes out there you can import. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check them out uh, because they don't do it. Uh, they don't taper off, you know, like I like it. You know, like yeah. when you do a pull out, it doesn't pull out. It stays consistent. Sure. And, uh, you have to do actually the opposite. You have to do a from out to from out away from your dark into your dark to get that thin line going on. Uh, Reprogram Scientologist says, "Hey, yeah, how you doing, Reprogram Scientologist? Thank you for joining us." <laughs> um, so I think oh, that's yeah. that's what I do. I have to I have to do it backwards. Like ah, really? I have to do it backwards, which throws me off. But I find yeah. I find the workflow and Procreate to be lickety split, and the fact that the iPad is uh, mobile and and so thin. Right. I got I got um an iPad Pro 11 inch, so it's not that big. It's not small, but it's not huge either. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's like a and, you know, like a piece of paper almost. Like, it is. Know. It is basically yeah. like a piece of paper because it's so thin. Um, and I can take it anywhere, and I can I can do digital art anywhere. The art of read says hello. How you doing, the art of read? And I can take it anywhere, and and uh, you know I I draw it downstairs watching TV with the wife. Now I don't have to. I'm not stuck to the studio like I once right. was. But I I still and the fact that uh, the only thing I don't like is that. Here's one thing. Clip Studio works amazing on the iPad Pro. Only problem oh. is that you have to get a subscription. And i like, wait a minute. I already own Clip Studio. Why, why am I getting a subscription just to have it on the iPad? It makes no sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I downloaded the app on there, but I haven't really looked at it much. It works, uh, it works amazing, dude. The Clip Studio on iPad? The Clip Studio on iPad works amazing. Huh. It works Good. It works really good, but you have to have a subscription. You can draw with it. And then what I have to do is if I draw on it, I have to do like a screenshot or whatever I drew because it, if you don't have the subscription, it won't save your work. Oh. Uh, you want you can't export your work, but like you could do some you can do some good drawings on it. You know, I, I guess my what I thought was I would take my Procreate pages I create and just export them and then email them for myself and then upload them on my Clip Studio on my on my main computer, right? And just do it that way, you know. Um, yeah, um, that yeah. Oh, you could you know, if you have, um, yeah, that's probably the only way. Because I that's I just don't understand unless you have a MacBook and maybe that's the difference because I have a PC. Uh -huh. and, and I guess the license for PC maybe it just it just doesn't transfer over to the iPad because it's not iOS. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what the problem is, but it's it's on the on the red on their boards and whatnot. People are saying the same thing. Like, why do I have to pay again? And it's not a cheap subscription either. It's like fourteen fifteen dollars a month. That adds up to like two or three hundred dollars at the end of the year. Uh, they're making you do a subscription. You can't just buy it like you do the. Nope. They're making you do a subscription, and I, I don't understand why. Because I don't understand wow. why, number one, because I own it already. And I got the EX right. version. Like, I bought the, yeah. quote, unquote, their top of the line one, right? Yeah. But it shouldn't even matter if, if you which version you bought. If you have a license and you can install it in up to two devices, and one of my devices happens to be an iPad, why yeah. do I have to buy a subscription? 
That's I, I wonder if you just uh, call them or or get to customer service and ask about that because you're right. It doesn't sound right. It should sound like you should be able to uh, use it. Yeah, you know, and and uh, and and that's what I'm worried about. You know, like wait a minute, what? No, that's that's not right. That's not right. Two S three yet won't add profile pics. They will if you buy. If you buy, if you pay for it, <laughs> you gotta pay for it. They ought to read. You gotta pay for it. I mean, if that if we came down to that, then I would, I'd almost just buy the. The, the I don't know which one it is, but the, the one that's fifty bucks and the fifty dollar version again, and just buy it from Mac and, and, and do that. Yeah, you have to find out though if it's if it's uh if it'll translate over because I honestly don't know if if that's what the problem yeah. is. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. No, yeah, because it's cheaper to do that than to buy a fourteen, fifteen, and it depends on which version. If you want the EX, it's even more, and if you want the Pro, it's less. Okay. But, you know, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a problem. It's a problem. But what's the, um, the difference between the Pro and the X is the, is the Pro is just, uh, I mean, just you, don't, you can't do as many pages, right? I don't know what the diff I know one of the differences is uh, you can actually export straight to Kindle. Um, oh, okay. And. And but I don't know about any other like major differences like that because I'm not like a super serious artist. I'm kind of like a hobbyist. Y'all know me. I'm just kind of chill with it. And um, so I don't I don't get too deep into it. But uh, you know I, I don't know to be honest with you um, what what the deal is with this. I just don't. All I can tell you is Clip Studio on the iPad Pro. It's amazing. It works amazing. And when I say amazing, I mean amazing. That Apple Pencil on an iPad with Clip Studio is the bomb diggity. Wow. I promise you. I promise you. It's better than Procreate. Way better wow. than Procreate. But Procreate is doing a pinch, and I ain't going to lie. I've been, I've been learning it and using it, so I ain't even met a Procreate. Well, I, I, I think it's nice for just... Uh... And I'm just penciling and inking, so I I don't know. So far, it seems like uh, no, no, it's definitely good for that. Yeah, you know it, it definitely. Because like I yeah. said, I just I just uh, do a screenshot of whatever I want to pen I want to practice inking on, and just import it to Procreate and put another layer on top of it and psh, go to town. Sure. And uh, and that's how I've been doing my uh, those little inking videos. You know, because I figured if I'm going to be practicing inking, why not? Uh... <laughs> For someone who's chill, you're a lot better than some of the so-called pros out there, E, no lie. Well, I greatly appreciate that. But I'm working with some professional pencils here. You know, be Paul Pelletier ain't no slouch. The pencils are good. The inks are going. Hopefully, the theory is if the pencils are good, the inks should come out good too, right? That's, uh, that's my uh, philosophy. You know, uh, and uh, and then of course I can't can't work on much of anything else. I did some stuff with Tank, you know, playing around, but still one of my favorite videos I did was doing the scalpel serial inks. Uh, I thought it was kind of a fun video to do. Yeah, but it, you know, it, it's it's awesome though. You know, Procreate, I like it because if you're gonna practice inking, might as well take advantage of the fact that recording everything, make a nice little video, right? Sure. Throw, throw it up on YouTube. Just for you know, just to see what happens, you know, no, no big deal. And if people like it, great. If people don't, great. Doesn't cost you anything, right? Uh, and Maranya says, "Well, we John Romita Jr. The inks definitely improved his pencils. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get to that level eventually, where my inks are gonna be so awesome, the pencil is gonna be like, yo, why do I even bother? But uh, in the meantime, I gotta keep practicing." <laughs> <laughs> No, that's what that's when you start charging people money for inking their stuff. And I, right now, I just you know like just want to I, I want to have fun with it right now. Um, sure. And uh, and see what happens. Like I'm, know, I, I, I like. Go ahead. I like. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I wasn't saying anything. I, I was just gonna say that I I like uh, practicing inking over others' drawings, others' pencils because. Uh, it helps me learn, you know, light and shadow better. It helps me learn some techniques for even penciling. 
you know, uh, and, um, you know, whenever I get stuck on certain things, it just tell, it helps give me some new techniques that right. I can go. Right, 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 right. My tank says mine too. Nah, tank, man, your pencils are pretty good, man. I just, I just, uh, did that whole scalpel serial thing just for fun. You know no, what I mean? Tank, tank, tank's an awesome artist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, I did a scalpel seal for fun. Um, he had posted it on, on, uh, on the Twitterverse. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to have fun at Tank's expense. I'm just going to go ahead and color his, uh, I mean, not color because I can't color, uh, ink his scalpel cereal. And then I said, I hey, forward to him launching his uh, Indiegogo for that. It's coming. Uh, I think he's got like 30 days or something like that. Uh, and has he stopped putting out? The, he was like putting out like uh, like sketches every day or something. And I haven't seen him for a few days. I think he's in California. Is it, he's supposed to be traveling this week. California. Yeah. Uh, so don't don't quote me on that. I could be completely mistaken. Um, but yeah. It was, but it's been kind of fun watching, seeing some of the, uh, I, I, some of them seem like they're, they're older drawings and, and, uh, you know, and, and it's kind of neat seeing some of the differences between the characters that right. I've seen. You know? I, just, I, I always think it's kind of cool seeing that, seeing people's, the evolution of their characters when they've, you know, kind of messed around with them in the past and then they tried to fit professionally develop them and whatnot. So, yeah. Speaking of characters. What's going on with your stuff? So I'm uh, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm I'm doing it. I've decided to do an anthology, and so I'm taking the uh, Inner World, and I've got a couple of other titles, and I'm going to do a, like basically a, a series of uh, intro and first issues, and put them right. in one book. And okay. my thinking behind it was was that uh, one, I'd be able to offer something between eight eighty and a hundred pages, and mm -hmm when I do do my, my Indiegogo campaign, uh, it'll give people uh, more, they're, they're getting more for their, more bang for their buck. Right. And um, it also, I'm hoping will let me uh, see what, what, which, which of the stories the fans like the most, like which of the, cause I, I've, I've got, my, my problem is I have too many ideas most of the time. And, um, and so I'm, I'm just kind of curious what, which storylines people like the most and, and then also it's, it's nice for me because uh, I also ha have trouble focusing on one thing. So I get to switch between different projects. So the, the books that right now I'm, I'm featuring in it, one is inner world and it'll be like the first, uh, the first uh, chapter or first issue of inner world. Um, another series called the law. Uh, and uh, it's the story of these, uh, these superheroes who um, brand new, they're pretty, they're like in their early 20s, like 20, 21, around there. And they start off wanting to um, create a super team, but realize that, you know, ultimately super teams aren't very effective or very useful to the world. So they eventually try to form their own uh, international law organization. Uh, mm -hmm. and they're sort of like Interpol for super people. Ah. Uh -huh. And so uh, it's called the law. And then, um, I've got another, a very short one, sort of my, one of my 1940s characters called uh, the Blue Diamond. And it's, a, it's probably only be about 10 pages. Um, and it's about a, a, a scientist who, uh, who uh, has a lab accident and gets, gets these amazing abilities um, and goes out and fights crime. Uh, it's a very simple story. It's just kind of something you'd expect to find from like a, a golden age co comic. It's kind of like somebody gets a, a powers from a lab accident. Don't ask me to explain it. And <laughs> I, I, think it's more fun, I think it's more fun to explain it that way. I think sometimes we get so involved in trying to explain where superpowers come from that we just, you know, forget to just enjoy the fact they have superpowers and that they're fun adventures and things like that. Right. So, um, and then uh, another one I'm, I'm, I'm uh, putting up is the first issue of a comic called program 13. And this is about uh, kids from Earth who are kidnapped by aliens and given superpowers, and hmm. then trained in how to use them. And uh, and so, uh, used for what though? That's the question. Right. But but it's in all these in all these uh, 
all these these uh, characters and comics I'm doing are are all family friendly. Like I, I I've really realized that sort of my audience are are, are going to be families. Like where you know people can uh, let their you know they can let their seven year old look at the comic. Or you know m- maybe it was somebody who's uh, our age could enjoy it. That's my hope. Right. Um, but you know nobody nobody. It's not like oh I lo- I love this comic, but. Uh, you know, don't let don't let little Jimmy uh, take a look at it. You know, <laughs> right? You know, I want I want everybody to be able to, to look at it and not have a problem with it. And so awesome. I, I think that's more of my niche. And then I'm also working on a um, a superhero. Uh, it's it's a coloring book called Superheroes from Around the World. Right. And I'm picking all my my uh, international superheroes uh, and putting them in in one book. I've got people from. North America and South America, right. Africa, mm-hmm. um, the Middle East, just kind of all over the place. And uh, I'm, I'm doing about 25 uh, superheroes. Uh, each one has a little bit of, 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 of data with them and, you know, give, give the kids something to color. I think it'd be kind of fun, you know. Um, so, yeah. So those are the two things I'm working on right now. Awesome, man. That's amazing, man. It's good, man. So, uh, you have any uh, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Indiegogo? You're gonna uh, just, you know, how are you gonna get it out to the world? So the the coloring book I'm planning on doing um, doing a Kindle version of it, right? And um, uh, maybe look for a print. I I don't think Kindle does print on demand, so I might do a print on demand version too. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I I I don't know if they do if they do print on demand Kindle. But, yeah, check uh, them out. I have to check that out. But I I do want to do a print on demand for people. Um, but and then um, I might even print some up over here. There are some different stores here. I might I might put them in, um, in Israel and try to you know sell them to some tourists. <laughs> right. And, and uh, and then it's, it, it, it's I don't really plan on doing Indiegogo for the coloring book. The coloring book is really meant more to be something that I can uh, I, I can sell for hopefully more immediate cash because right. it's very easy to put together a coloring book. Coloring book doesn't take nearly as much work as putting together a comic. Right. Uh, actually, Tank is the one who suggested this to me a long time ago. He said, yeah, you should really do a, a coloring book. And I said, oh, okay. And... Uh, you know, I, I finally decided. You know, Tink's right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm working on that. the The anthology, however, I do want to do Indiegogo, but I I need to build my audience up first. I, I don't have enough people that would support it. I don't right. think. And so that's going to be one of my goals is uh, you know, increasing my my YouTube subscribers. So I'm working on developing my YouTube and and, and things like that. And uh, you know, we'll see see how it goes. Yeah, uh, what I'm doing right now, like I said, I, I'm testing the RTP settings on StreamYard, and I'm doing a multi-stream, so it's everywhere right now. So you're like, I mean, nobody's really watching. We've only got two viewers. It's probably me and you, but nonetheless, yeah. <laughs> you know. But it's it's everywhere. So it's being recorded on on my Facebook page. It's uh, being put on Twitch and Mixer, which is a Microsoft streaming platform. It's being put on, of course, YouTube. Um, so it's just shooting everywhere, you know, and I just want to decided to go on and, and test it out to make sure it was working before I do my actual streams on Tuesday. But since I'm here, I was like, ah, you know, let me invite people to see if they want to join me. And, um, uh, like I said, my wife is working and, you know, she won't be home for another couple of hours. So I figured if I'm going to ink, I might as well stream. If I'm going to stream, I might as well figure out this uh, RNTP stuff with with, uh, with StreamYard and see if I can get it to do something nice. So it's just well, not... I might have to try StreamYard. I, I, I'm hearing a lot of people using it. Well, you know, if you're going to do, uh, like, have people on with you, uh, yeah. it, it's it's not bad. I like it. You know. Well, I, I just figured out how to use Streamlabs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, OBS. Yeah, if you yeah, know how to but... use that, then you really. If you're using that uh, to do your streams, then you should be good to go. People like me who just can't do OBS to save their life. 
<laughs> this is this is a this is a good alternative. You know, it's it's free and it just uh, works. And um, you know, and um, I can do my streams, and I can invite people. Now, if you're running right. solo, OBS is good. I mean, you know, and right, right. It, it depends on a lot. I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm just like I said. I'm figuring this out as I go along. Well, I think everybody is. It's uh, we're not able to use uh, Hangouts anymore. Yeah, and, yeah. So it's not viable anyway. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. You know, and like I said, I'm over here just testing testing stuff out. And oh, I have I have extremely exciting news. We'll see. What's uh, what's what you got there, but so we we moved to a new city here in Israel. Mm-hmm. Parties Hana, the Garden of Hana, and um, we discovered there is a kosher pizza hut that we can have deliveries made from. What? Oh my god! You you don't understand. Like everything here is like New York style pizza, and yeah. I I want to gag on it. I mean, it's just all the same exact flavor. And then you take Pizza Hut, and right. oh my gosh, <laughs> it is fantastic. I That's mean, awesome. it, 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 I don't think people will appreciate just how exciting this is. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you say so, I got to take your word for it. You know, I mean, just, just just imagine every pizza you had was the same exact flavor, right? And, and then you had this one amazing deep dish pizza, this regular Pizza Hut pizza. And and you had that, and I, I mean I don't know, can you contain the excitement? I can't, I can't contain the excitement. I can tell, man. I can tell that you're super <laughs> excited. I can I can hear it in your voice, man. <laughs> I can oh. hear it in your voice. You know, uh, I'm excited for you. Uh, Maranya says, "Kosher Pizza Hut? How is that possible? Seriously, seriously? They get they don't He's do in any Israel, yeah." <laughs> He's in Israel. They do things a little bit differently over there, I guess. I don't know. I'm still trying to, uh, still trying to go there one of these days. Well, if you if you come here, you got to come visit me. Yeah, the, if the church permits, yeah, I'm trying to go with the, like a church group. So I don't know what they're gonna. Oh, have I see. In. I see. I don't know if what they're gonna like have. A, in. If you come with like a tour group or something, probably not, because they they run those things pretty tight. Yeah. Like they, they they give you like you know five minutes on your own, pretty much. Yeah, so that that's why I said I don't even know if I, you know, what they're gonna have me doing. To be honest with you, it's like, uh, but I definitely want to go. You know, well, if you come over here, let me know, and I'll meet up with you, and uh, uh -huh. I'll, I'll track you down somehow. No, um, not that hard to find Puerto Rican in Israel. Oh, <laughs> you have no, you have no idea. E. We've got we've got every flavor of Jew here. We got Jews from. You know, Brazil, oh, yeah, uh, Puerto Rico, yeah, yeah, everywhere. I mean, uh, we have we have Asian Jews, we have Black Jews, we have, I mean, every tone of skin. You know, we 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 got we've got them all, and so uh, it's not easy to tell who the Jews are, who the Jews aren't. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. You know, man. it is. We've got a lot of Ethiopian Jews here. We're here in the north. Um, both in my old place and in the new place here. There's an Ethiopian synagogue uh, somewhere around here. I haven't seen it yet, but it's, it's supposedly around here somewhere. Right. So, but anyway, yeah. So you, you being Puerto, you being Puerto Rican, I mean, you won't stick out as much as you think you will. Well, I've noticed that that uh, let's see, isn't it? Let's see, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, isn't it? You can't mix meat and dairy. Ask Maranya. Right, you can't meet meat, especially especially you know non kosher meat. But yeah, you can't meet meat, mixed meat and dairy. So, um, but they they do all sorts of amazing uh, vegetable toppings for it, and uh, it's fantastic. You know, you just can't. Uh, I know for people who love meat and cheese, it's it's hard to imagine you could ever enjoy like a veggie pizza, but it's good. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You, you lost me there, bud. You lost me there. 
Yeah. It's probably no, it's, healthier it's, for me to eat veggie pizza, but uh, <laughs> I, but, uh eat, eat, pizza is not healthy no matter how what, what you put on it. Okay, there you go. So <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy my meat and cheese then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. Uh don't Good. mind me, sir. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, the 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 only people who are supposed to keep from eating meat and cheese are Jews, so you you can eat whatever you want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, I call them uh, to my wife and the doctor. They want me to restrict my diets. The older I get, the more they want to be restrictive. Well, I, I have to do the same thing. I'm actually I'm actually diabetic, so I've had to restrict my uh, diet a lot. Um, like so I, I I tend to eat. I don't eat a lot of pizza because it's really bad for me. All the carbs and every our carbs turn right to sugar. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but so that's that's another reason this is kind of a kind of a treat is having a, a nice kind of pizza. We we just got done fasting today. We, we were fasting. Um, today is the uh, is the well. Yesterday was the ninth. It was called the ninth of Av. It's the the day when uh, we uh, remember the destruction of the second temple. And the first temple, and uh, so we fast on, on on this day, and so um, so we just came off the fast and uh, uh, decided to treat ourselves to some Pizza Hut pizza. Nice, that's that's a big change. <laughs> that's like no food, straight to pizza. Yeah. At least, at, yeah. you know. And, and I don't know how how, uh, but if I was me, I would have been straight to the bathroom. Well, well, honestly, I, I had a little something before the pizza because, um, you know, they got slammed by all the the people coming off the fast, you know, wanting pizza all of a sudden. So it took a while for the pizza to get here. Um, but uh, so I, I had a little snack beforehand. So I was uh -huh. so it wasn't like I just shocked my system suddenly with with pizza. Right. 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 I can live without pepperoni on pizza, as I like mushrooms. So man. Don't take my bacon away from me. I love my meat and cheese. Yeah, bacon is amazing too. Ay, Dios mio. <laughs> Ay, Dios mio. Hey, Zero Soul Sign, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, dude. I I can't I can't live without it. Don't don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Yeah, I gotta make this a thinner line. Let's go for a 20. See how uh, that well, as as I've learned, it's, it's amazing things you learn to live without when your health is in danger. So you you suddenly start eat, eating and not eating things you never thought were possible. Like I right, I gave up I gave up Dr Pepper. Um, you know, I, the only time I, I only eat I only really drink sodas every now and then anymore. I drink mostly water um, water's, because water's good for soda, you. Soda, soda in general is just bad for you. Even the even the diet stuff is bad for you. The diet stuff is worse for you. Well, that's what my wife keeps telling me. I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe it's worse for you, but the, the sugar will kill me. <laughs> oh, man. Josh Chris Art is in the house, and he says, pepperoni pizza is live. And uh, Zero Soul Science says, somewhat okay, I guess, ERT. Well, I hope you, you know, um, I hope you're feeling better, brother. I know you, you've been going through some stuff, but we hope that you continue to, uh, your life continues to improve there, buddy. Josh, you'll be glad to know that I'm doing that whole. I think I think I figured out how to do the multi-stream on Streamyard, so we can hit Twitch and uh, Mixer and Facebook and YouTube. That's what's going on right now. Now, if you got, if you have a second, Josh, and you can go to uh, Twitch and verify that it's streaming, that would be awesome. I don't know if you're working. I think you're working, so I don't know if you can get Twitch from your office, but. You know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying stuff, man. We, we, we gotta, we gotta do better. Which, which Josh is that? Josh Chris Hart, my the guy that I always drew, uh, that my original, original stream partner. Okay. You know. Very nice. I don't know if you remember Josh. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been, that's why I invited you. I said, man, you know, it's been a while. I don't want Hillel to think that that he is not, you know, that we forgot about him. Oh, no, Josh, I... says he can get everything here. Yeah, so Josh, I'm on Mixer and Twitch. 
So if you want to check it out to make sure I'm still good to go on those on those two, I you know, cool. Um, you know, we, we're going to go back to what we started, Josh, where we're going to try to uh, push content in every platform on for one live stream because why not? Well, see, it sounds like that's something that Streamlabs, uh, that, what's this called, StreamYard can do that Streamlabs can't do because... No, 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 you could do it off of Streamlabs too. Can you do stream Streamlabs too? Yep, yep. All you have to do is uh, go to a website called Restream.io. Okay. Uh, I'll show you. Let me bring it over. You see, and uh, you go to Restream IO. If you, I don't know if you can see my pay, my uh, my thing. We're a little bit. It's very tiny on my phone. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, you go to the site and you put all the channels in there that you want. So I got Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook. Then I'll say oh. I'm online, right? And what I did is I took this RMTP. Uh, you you take this um, URL stuff, the RMTP. And you put yeah. it on Streamlabs as you're streaming, right? And when you go live on Streamlabs, it'll go live on all those platforms. Wow. Well, I, need, I need to do that. That just that makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. You could do it. You could do it. You sure I'm, can. I'm, I'm trying to uh, be very uh, uh, intentional on, on the, on the uh, streams I'm creating because I've, I've been doing a lot of research. Right. And... You know, it looks like you you got to be very. Uh, if you're trying to build like a YouTube audience, you you have to kind of hit certain things and 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 and, and be careful of other things, and so that's what yeah. I'm trying to do. Yeah, and that's why we keep it PG on our channels on our stream. Um, yeah. We try to keep it real PG. We don't we don't try to do you know craziness and um, sure you know stuff like that. And some people don't agree with us on that, and and that's fine. That's fine. Everybody, everybody has their own way of doing things, and I don't mind. You know, it, it's good. You know, difference, uh, variety is the spice of life. And uh, however you want to do your streams and your videos is fine by me. But as for me and mine, we're going to try to be chill, and we're going to try to keep it PG. You know, and we're going to just try to um, try not to be offensive because we don't know who's watching. Uh, sure. Where they're watching from and. You know, and if you keep it, if you keep it civilized, uh, you know, I, I think that that's good. That's good. It, it might reach more audiences and that's what you want anyway. You know, you want, Absolutely. To try to, you want to try to reach as many audience, as much of an audience as you can. And like I said, except for the bobs, bobs are cool here. Yes. Yes. We do draw some uh, sexy ladies. Well, I'm not drawing anything, but you know, Manny and them draw some sexy ladies. And apparently on my screen, yes, 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 there's a young woman who is uh who happens to be armored up. And uh yeah, yeah, about that. About that. But you know, you can appreciate the female form. Oh, my Twitch. Oh shoot. Uh J Rican 51. You know it's something with Rican. <laughs> there you go. It's Jay Regan fifty one, Josh. That is a Twitchimus. I doubt anybody's um there watching from there, but I did get someone from Mixer though. Someone uh, at the beginning of the stream was watching me from Mixer. I was like, whoa, yay! <laughs> you know, one person from Mixer. That's awesome. There you go, and Skeletor for the Master of Evil. That's Josh. And he sent me a message from Twitch. It was a test, and it's awesome. So, yep, test good. So I have a, a needle window here from Restream.io. So this is their little chat uh, window from Restream.io. I know you can't see it because of that little my screen, but um, this is the little chat thing that brings <laughs> all your chats from all your platforms together. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, yeah, so uh, so yeah, take care, like and share. I'm at work, so I gotta run, have a good stream. But thanks, Comic Book Bob. Uh, so yeah, and uh, Zero Soul Byron says he'll be back. Take your time, bud. Just be good. So it brings all the chats in from all the different ones. So if someone hits me from Mixer or YouTube or whatever, I got one area, and uh, that I can bring it. That I can see all the chats. See, and uh, this one over here with the X's that was from Mixer. 
So I, it's good. I like it. I, I like the fact that I was able to figure this out with my uh, old self, you know, and was able to bring out a stream, you know. You know, you know there was a there was a time mm -hmm. when I I'm not gonna say that I was like you know like a, a computer wizard or anything like that, but I I had enough confidence and ability to be able to do pretty well with computer technology. Right. And then it just it just seems like something happened the last couple of years where I find this stuff becoming more and more incomprehensible. Well, this is not the computers. It's the software. Take care of the software. That's what I mean. It's the software. But I mean, more and more, I'm just kind of going, man, this is so complicated. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they don't, they, uh, they definitely, you know, if, if you're not somebody that's been, that, that's in it all the time, like these young streamer, streamers that, yeah. you know, that they're in it constantly and they, they're, uh, they're getting help, of course, because they're generating revenue. So, these, these sources are like, hey, you know, here's how you do this. Here's how you do that. Here's how you do this, you know. So it's not like they're brilliant. They're getting help, you know. Sure. Because they're, they're bringing in revenue, you know what I'm saying? If the platforms well, I, are being used, they're bringing in revenue. They're bringing in uh, revenue, um, well, you know. I've decided that, that if I ever start developing revenue from this stuff, one of the first things I'm going to do is hire someone to deal with the computer stuff. <laughs> it is a headache. <laughs> Josh says switch live stream is super lagging. Yeah, the one on Facebook is too. And I wonder the one on YouTube is. I'm pretty sure they all are. <sighs> I found Streamlabs was very laggy too. It was and I wasn't doing multiple face uh, multiple streams. I was doing one stream and I had a a, 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 a lag between 5 and 10 seconds. Yeah, well, uh, StreamYard does too. StreamYard has like a 10 second lag. Uh, so there is that as well, you know. I mean, that makes it very difficult to do like live streaming because you're, you're, you know, you're, you, it, it takes you a while for people to, to respond to whatever you're talking about. And by the, by the time you see what they're, they're writing, you've moved on. Yeah, but you know, um, the thing is this. It's not like Google Hangouts was super responsive either. Mm -hmm. That was a lag on Google Hangouts too. So I, I, and I don't know if it was the same amount, five to ten seconds, but there was a lag. It didn't seem as long. It seemed it seemed much shorter. So Josh says he's watching other Twitches with no issues. It must be me then. It must be me, or the RTP server settings I have here, or something, or something. So maybe it's something on my end that I'm having. Um, I, I don't know what it is. So maybe I got to go back to. Um, yeah, that, that could be true. But I'm sending it to Restream IO, which should act as a server. Well, that could be why it's got such a long lag is because of the restreaming. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You, know, you have a very young voice, right? But but you, but I look. I'm looking at you, going, "Oh man, he looks like he could be a guy who has a daughter who's married." I do. I have two two daughters that are married. I, I know. I was kidding a little <laughs> bit there. <laughs> I have two daughters that are married. Yeah, the last time I talked to you, I think you were you were you were getting one of them married off. Yep. 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 Yep, I have a couple of those. I have, a, I have three of those, but not not all three are married. Two of them are. Are you, are you a grandpappy yet? Heck no, not yet. My uh, my older cousin, and he's somewhere between three and five years older than me. He's he became a granddad for the first time, and I go, gosh, if I hit that age where I could, I could be a grandfather, and I'm old enough. To be a grandfather, but my my kids are only seven and nine. I got started off late having kids, but I'm old yeah. enough to, to actually, you know, to have a, a grandkid if I'd started earlier. So I right. go, man, I, what happened to my youth? <laughs> it goes, it goes quick. Uh, Lady Celtic Moon says, "Did you get it working?" Yeah, I, I kind of got it working, Lady Kel Lady Celtic Moon. Josh is telling me that on Twitch, it's it's lagging, but I got it where now I can invite people and still do the multi stream. Before I was, I could only solo stream. So now I moved one forward, one pace forward, 
one pays forward without having to buy or pay for anything. So that was the that was the thing, right? Can I do it without having to pay extra? You know, but I'm being told that it's laggy. I don't know if it's laggy on YouTube, um, but I'm being told it's laggy on Twitch. Uh, it's probably a little bit laggy on Mixer as well. Maybe I can just cut out the Mixer. I don't, I don't even know if anybody really watches Mixer. So um, at least not for not for art streams anyway. I know they watch it for games, but I don't know if they watch it for art streams. So I don't know how much the lag is. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, time to make a video. Yeah, this is an impromptu video. I got Hillel here from New Hero Comics. He is all the he's he's actually from Texas, but he's all the way from Israel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he moved to Israel. What can I say? Yeah, if I remember correctly. You, you were originally from Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Yep, Dallas. Yeah, kind of remember something like that. Lady Celtic Moon is from Texas as well. That's uh -huh. why I made. That's why I made the connection. Yep. Yep. She said yes, it did. Yeah. Uh, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I don't know about the lag issues. I hope um, we can work that out. Um, but you know, it's not a lot. Of, no, on YouTube, it's pretty much normal delay. Nothing noticeable to me. All right, thanks, Maranya. Greatly appreciate that. So I don't know what's up with Twitch, and I think with Twitch is maybe I gotta go in and tweak the settings on Twitch itself. So, because uh, I know, I know for Twitch, you gotta change the bit rate. Uh, Tasha may put in a buffer on this thing. They are looking at doing a new level of streaming in Twitch where they can let multiple people stream at the same screen soon. Oh man, that would be amazing. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch is going to uh, put YouTube out of business if they do that because YouTube just went away from that. So one, one platform that's been known notoriously for doing solo is, uh, is going to let you do guest hosting. And yeah, maybe I need to check the bit rate on my Twitch. I just check both Twitch and YouTube. Barely any difference for me. All right, cool. Trusty is on it, man. I love Trusty. Trusty sidekick is the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, and I don't know if... I was talking to people and I was like, do, do we need to like put my, you know, put our faces on? Does it make it more? All right. So all seven of you that are watching serious question, does having the face along with the drawing, does that make it more personal? Do you connect more with the artist that way? Does it matter to you? Do you not care? Um, let me know what y'all think. Cause I can do, I usually don't like putting my face but I was thinking that maybe it helps people relate with me and the drawing and, you know, whatever. I I don't know, to be honest with you. What do you think, Hilo? Uh, I, I think actually it's nice having your face, seeing, seeing what you look like. Um, it does. It, it makes you more relatable. It makes you more like a, a person. Okay. So when I watch, a, when I watch a Jim Lee do his drawings, I, 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 for some reason I enjoy, you know, seeing, oh, there's Jim Lee's face and he's drawing, you know, I don't know. It's just kind of nice. Okay, Lady Celtic book, yes, says, yes, half the picture. Okay. Um, yeah, and Jim Lee, of course, he's he's a personality and he's famous, and, you know, people do want to see him. You know, but like a small YouTuber like me who's, you know, I'm no, I'm nobody in the grand scheme, excuse me, well, in the grand scheme of things, you know. Well, Jim Lee's nobody in the grand scheme of things, you know, but, uh, I mean, the thing is, though, is that, is, is that you are a personality. You you. And it, and uh, you you I mean people just find it interesting. Here's this guy whose voice I hear all the time, and that's what he looks like. And uh, you're a very animated person, so it's it's, it's oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I'm always moving. I was, I don't even know. <laughs> but now y'all know what I'm doing behind the scenes. Every single time I'm talking and drawing, y'all see that I'm always moving around and you know. But I just wanted to put like a little picture. I don't I don't want to be like oh I don't want to be overbearing about it. I just you know. Miranda says that the artist is comfortable with putting their face out there. More power to them. I like it either way. Okay, so there you go. So we got two for yes and one for either way. So, all right, cool. You know, um, I'm not upset about it either way. Um, it it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm like you. I, I don't like I don't like putting my face online either. But um, but I think it does it does personalize the channel a little bit. Yeah, and, and that's what, you, and I don't know if that may, may, like I said, I don't know if that means anything to the subscribers. Like, do they care? You know, do they feel better? Like, oh, that's that's E right there. I know that's E. 
because I see he, you know what I'm saying? Does it even matter to them? Do they? I don't care what he looks like. I don't care, you know. I just come well, here to hear the voice or whatever, you know. Let's I, put it this way: one of these days, when you get your booth at San Diego Com Comic Con, ah. people will all know what you look like, and they'll make a beeline right for you. Is is that what it is? Well, over time, <laughs> you can shrink the pick. Yeah, I can. I mean, I like. I thought this is a pretty good size. It's out of the way, and I don't know. I can make a smaller too, I guess. Um, it don't really matter to me, like I said. Um, but it was just something that I'm playing with. I'm playing with a lot of things, you know, just trying out different things, trying to see what we could do, you know, make the channel more, uh, you know, more relatable, more likable, more watchable, I guess. I don't even know. I don't know. But right now what I have is a virtual camera for my digital tablet. Well, to answer your question, two cameras. <laughs> That's the short answer. I can do two cameras. That's the super short answer. Um, what I have is a virtual camera pointing at my digital tablet so I don't have to do a screen share. And I have a real Logitech camera pointing at my face. I can host six people on here. So six people on StreamYard is what you can host. Six including yourself or yeah. me plus six? No, me plus five. Okay. So it's six including myself. So it doesn't it, – it brings it down to uh, – I like it though. I, I, I think that six is a good number. I think um, – because this doesn't have the same feature as Hangouts where you can see who's talking because the window pops up. So I think that six is a good number. And uh, I like actually like four because four, you can see everybody's art real clear um, because everybody that's sharing art, like um, you could set it up and you can get a quadrant going and then you can see all four people and their artwork. And it's pretty amazing. And I like it. I like that aspect of StreamYard a lot. And of course, you know, <laughs> if, if I take this banner away, um, take the banner off. Then uh, and then of course do the dual screen, uh, or like this. Then you can see who's talking. You can see who's on because it says ERTs and NHC for New Hero Comics. Uh, you know, so it's cool because as you know, I work mostly traditional, not digital. Yeah, I don't know if you could do like I'm pretty sure you could do two cameras, but you're gonna have to use OBS to do it to control the cameras, and it's just which is what I do. I have OBS running my cameras, and then. Maybe that's what the lag is about. I have OBS running my cameras, and then I have uh, StreamYard uh, doing the doing the, the the broadcast. And then what happens on StreamYard is I go on StreamYard, and then I choose the camera <coughs> on StreamYard. I choose one camera on StreamYard because that's all you can choose on StreamYard, just one camera. <coughs> then on OBS is where I control the other cameras. So... Um, you have to have something, some kind of software to control the cameras to tell it how many cameras you want going. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that answered your question. I hope that it did. But right now, we're just chilling. Like I said, we're on chill mode. Doing some, doing <coughs> some. All right, man. Don't die here, little man. I just, I just got you on stream. <laughs> Shoot. I had pneumonia about a month ago. Oh, that's not good. I've still got the cough from it. Yeah, I get pneumonia, man. That's bad. That's bad yeah. news for me to get pneumonia. Oh, I, it, it pretty much uh, knocked the wind out of myself for a month. Yeah. I mean, I was hacking and coughing and, you know, laying all over the place. Well, I can't do anything, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, it takes me out, too. And I'm asthmatic on top of that, so whew. Oh, that's so good. So pneumonia, yeah, I get pneumonia, man. That's 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 truly a die for death situation for me. Like it is for older people, but for <coughs> athletics, that that is bad juju. Yeah, oh my, I can I can imagine. Bad juju. I mean, I, I feel like I was asthmatic while I had it. I, I you know, I can't <laughs> imagine getting asthma on top of it. Yeah, it's it's bad. Um, it, it's it's not it's not fun at all. I I just gonna tell you straight up, it's it is zero fun, zero fun. But uh, 
I've been getting the shots. Um, you know, the the they're not annual shots. They're like once every couple <coughs> of years for pneumonia. Uh-huh. And it seems to have worked. I haven't had pneumonia in a while, so I'm freaking stoked about that. Great. You know, cuz I had I'm, my my yearly flu shot and all that. No, no, it's a uh, pneumococcal pneumonia shot, something like that. Okay. Yeah, if they have it, get that, man. That that has helped me tremendously, tremendously. I'll get it next year because I did not enjoy it. I, it was no fun at all. It was just like hacking and coughing and yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like terrible all the time. Yeah, because of uh, because of my asthma, I'm prone to getting pneumonia, and I get it at least twice a year in the winter time. But ever Ooh. since that shot, um, I haven't had a case, so I'm really happy about that. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm super super stoked about that. Um, it's been it's been helping me out a, out a lot, and I'm not I hate shots, so for me to say, oh man, yeah, this shot was awesome. <laughs> yeah. It, so yeah, because I hate. I, I have a. I start taking a, a, a shot. Um, it's not insulin. It's something before you do insulin, but it has changed my life. Like before the shot, I mean, I was keeping my blood sugar down, but I was just dragging all the time. Mm -hmm. And I take the shot now, and it's just like I'm back to my old self. I'm energetic, you know. I get things done. Uh, it's just been fantastic. Yeah, Lady Celtic Moon says she got dehydrated and wound up getting a bag and a half of IVs. Ah, that'll, de that'll definitely hydrate you quick. That's for sure. Yeah. That's that's straight up hydration at its purest form. Like, yeah. <laughs> that'll get you hydrated quick. When I, when I was in the army, a lot of, uh, they had like combat medics. And a lot of people, you know, used to get super drunk on the weekends, but then have to go run the next day. Mm -hmm. so, so they would get they would go to the combat medics and get IV'd up so they didn't pass out during the run. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. They're like, ah, oh, can you hit you hit me with the IV? And they were like, Yeah, whatever. So, you know, I was like, wow, maybe you shouldn't drink so much. But hey, who am I? To tell people what. To do or what not to do. Well, yeah, I probably need to go. My battery's almost dead. Oh man. Well, well it was a pleasure, it. man, having you on. Yeah, I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah, thanks for thanks for dropping by, man. Uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful rest of your weekend, brother. Yeah, you too. And just uh, you know, drop me a line, and I'll drop you a line, and you know, we should we should stay in touch. Definitely, brother. Okay. All right, brother. Be good. I'll talk to you later. Later. Bye-bye. <laughs> and anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Hillel uh, from New Hero Comics. If y'all get a chance to check him out, he does have a YouTube channel called New Hero Comics. Um, yeah, man. Definitely go check Hillel out, man. He's a he's a genuinely good guy. You know? And he's working on some projects. See, another guy. Yeah, once you suffer like dehydration or heat stroke, you're more susceptible to going through it again, Lady Celtic Moon. That's why we suggest don't do it. Nah. Uh, for me, it was the opposite. Um, <laughs> for me, it was uh, I had the opposite happen to me where I got a frostbite pretty bad. And now I hate the cold weather. Because <laughs> if it's just a little bit cold, I'm a lot cold. So yeah. So yeah, if you're if you if that happens to you one time, your uh, your body just is susceptible to it again. And it's really susceptible to it. Yeah, unfortunately. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Nice. Yeah, you'll enjoy him. He's a nice guy.
All right, Lady Celtic Moon. I just finished cleaning my house. That's the only reason why I'm streaming. But you go clean the house. Enjoy yourself. Uh, yeah, my gloved hand. Enjoy yourself. And uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> Number 69, say ye. You are in about coming. All right, that's awesome, man. I'm pretty sure he appreciates that. Um, Y'all, yeah, you know, definitely give Hillel some love. I'm sure he's going to like that. No energy, yeah. I just noticed that Facebook had like a 15 to 20 second lag. But uh, yeah, there's that. I think I've been on long enough, an hour and 20 minutes. I'll see if I, how much I can get done of this. And then, you know, I'll let you guys go back to enjoying uh, your Sunday. Because, hey, who doesn't want to enjoy their house cleaning, which I already did. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with all of y'all. And my wife is working, so I have to clean the house by myself, which sucks. Because she's going to come home and see, you didn't do a good enough job. I know, Josh. I know. But uh, I think, uh, Josh, I'm going to continue to do it like this. Uh, what do you think, bud? Should we continue to go everywhere? See what happens. Will the rest of the team, the rest of the digital bullpen be good with that? With us streaming everywhere? Who knows? Time will tell. Time will tell. Yeah, I know you are. Me and you started that. Started that multi-streaming train way back in the day. And then I don't know what happened. I, I just I, I stopped doing it for some reason. And then now I want to do it again because what the hey, what the hey, why not? You know, yeah, I know you're working, Josh. Man, all I did was uh, clean the house, go buy some stuff that my wife wanted me to get. <laughs> And then I was bored. I was going to play video games. And I was like, no, I got to figure this out. And now that I think I've got it figured out, maybe. Who knows? I don't know if I got it figured out or not. Seems like it. <sighs> All right. Don't turn the whole screen black. Don't turn the whole screen black. Oh, no. There you go. Hi, Cross. How you doing? Buy his diapers. <laughs> Well, I'm just chilling right now, but um, I am using StreamYard, right? Through um, I'm using StreamYard through the RMTP server of. Uh, okay, so I put the RMTP server information of Restream.io into StreamYard, and then I started a StreamYard video and to see if it, if it would broadcast everywhere without having to use OBS, and it is working. It's a little bit of a lag from what I hear. You know, and uh, but it's working. So I'm using the restream my old RNTP server and plugged it into StreamYard and boom. Yep. Exactly. That's what I'm using. Well, I use the RMTP. So I use the RMTP or StreamYard IO and put it into StreamYard, where StreamYard allows you to choose. If you want to uh, do RMTP, uh, broadcast to Facebook or broadcast to YouTube. So I just put the RMTP information in there from Restream.io. And then went live on StreamYard. And now I can have guests and still broadcast everywhere. But what I'm being told, some people say yes, some people say no. Some people say there's a little bit of lag on um, 
on Twitch, and some people say there isn't. Uh, I know there's a little bit of lag on Facebook because I'm actually watching myself on Facebook, believe it or not. Now your channel almost a broad, uh, a broadcast network proper. Yes, and I didn't have to pay uh, to do that. That's that's the whole key. I wanted to do it without having to pay. Now, if I want, I guess if I want better service, I guess I should pay. But for now, I'm not making any money off of this. So why should I pay for service if I'm not even, you know, I'm not making money off of this? And and, and I'm not, you know, I'm not really. It's not about that for me. I, I just really enjoy doing this stuff, you know. But it's working. But it's working. Facebook needs to I spy and record it first. <laughs> Yeah, um, it seems to be working on Facebook. I only got one person watching. I think it's me on Facebook. <laughs> so, but there's no chat. The only thing is it doesn't bring the Facebook chat into the Restream chat, which I think you have to pay for that on Restream. But I could just have the Facebook window open and, and look at the chat from there, which, like I said, no one has made an attempt to do uh, a chat on there. So I'm good with that. I'm fine. If, if that happens, then I have the window open. Uh, but for the other thing, I'm just using the little widget from Restream and um, just reading the chat from there. I actually had someone from Mixer who used to game with me, hit me up when I first started. So I know it's working on Mixer, um, which is, the like I said, the Microsoft platform. And... Uh, and all that good stuff, man. I now what I don't know, Chronos, is with the rest of the people from the digital bullpen, are they cool with what I'm doing on trying to stream on multiple platforms? They might not be good with that, you know. I, and I don't know. We'll figure that out as we go along. But I just kind of uh just kind of want to do it because why not? Why not do it? Why not stream in as many platforms as you possibly can? Get banned on all of them at the same time. That would be awesome. Just kidding. Just kidding. Try not to get banned anywhere <laughs> if I can help it. Uh, but yeah. And I'll have to cut the stream off in a minute because I've been on, according to this, uh, an hour and 27 minutes. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'll probably be cutting it off in a few just, you know, just to uh, to give everybody a break from having to hear my voice. Because, you know, y'all going to have to hear it on Monday with on Good Dog Press. Uh, too much software they need to, to, to toy with, but I've done even further with multiple game server codes connected. Nice. Nice. Chronos is always doing something. You definitely have to check out his videos, man. Chronos is always into something. Chronos is always into something. Always, always. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is Monday, and Good Talk Press goes live tomorrow, you know? I don't go on till Tuesdays, but I'm always on Manny's channel, so. But Manny's channel will not be doing, like, like all this craziness unless he wants to. And I'll teach him how to do it. If he wants. You know, some people are not comfortable with that stuff. No bullpen tonight. Now today's Sunday. Um, I invited them, but today is Sunday and it's early. It's four o'clock my time, so it's seven o'clock their time. Uh, you never know. People might come in. People might come in after dinner time if I stay on long enough, I guess. But no, no digital bullpen on Sundays from what I know of. Uh, like I said, unless they come in. Um, after they do family time. Because what I was doing is I was actually testing to see the RNTP settings worked. Hey, Sticky Art Channel, how you doing? 
so what I was basically doing was, uh, oh, man, the pencils on those braids, it looks like the sword is going to chop them off to me. But I guess the artist wanted to show motion, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I have to ask him next time I go to a con. Uh-oh, my competition is on. Chester Busby. No. <laughs> Chester Busby's on. Uh, so there's that. But no, I don't know if it's going to be a digital point, uh, a digital bullpen tonight. I, I sincerely doubt it. Um, no set. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Um, like I said, it's 4.37 my time, which is like 2.37 Manny's time, which is like uh, 7.00. Thirty-seven East Coast time, so we'll see. You know, Josh Chris is working, so he can't he can't come in. And usually we don't do streams on Sundays. Um, Sticky Art Channel says I finished my Garatas Gold Foil. Nice. Um, usually Sundays, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I was trying to test out something. Um, and I did send the invite out to the folks, um, but I don't know, you know, maybe they'll come, maybe not. I said, I've been streaming for about an hour and change. Uh, then there is chrono time. That's right. Then there's chrono time. According to this, I've been streaming for an hour and 31 minutes and I had Hillel on for a second. That was cool. I haven't talked to him in a while. And, um, uh, so it was pretty cool. I mean, I can't get mad. The the actual the test is actual successful. What I wanted to know is actually working. I wanted to know if it was streaming to all the platforms I set it out to stream to, and that's working. That's that was the main reason why I went live, um, because obviously I can't test it ever in private. Because every single time I I try to test it, it brings me live anyway. So what the hey. I just decided to go live and test it live. Because this morning, that's what happened, right? I, I was trying to test it on a private stream, and it still went live. Because I'm not very smart when it comes to this stuff, which is cool. Sticky Art asks, anyone see, uh, anyone see Rockers Morning Live? Man, not since my kids were little. Not since my kids were little. And that's been a long time ago. My kids ain't no longer little. Uh, <laughs> yep, we found you, says Lady Celtic Moon. Yeah, y'all did. Y'all surprised me. I was like, wait a minute. But it is what it is, you know. Um, and I appreciate y'all patience, man, because y'all could have been like, man, this dude is. Maybe it was comedy because I was so lost trying to figure that out. <laughs> And he's like, oh, this is comedic, you know, let's laugh at E. Let's all laugh at E, which is fine. It's fine. I don't even get mad about that. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let me see. Let me put this over here. Let me put this over here. Let me check out El Twitter and see if anybody on the group. Let's see. Message. Chester. Hillel. No, and yep, so that's it. Nobody, nobody's responded on the Twitter. Um, Facebook is still doing Facebook. All is good. I think uh, I can't complain. You know, life is beautiful. It seems to be working um, the way I expected it to work. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. People have verified it on Twitch. People have verified it on Twitch, on Mixer. Uh, I'm verifying it on Facebook, and you guys are catching me on YouTube, so it's working. It's working. Ah, no, I think if I help you get it set up, then when when and if I start gaming, then you can help me set up. Oh, man, that's easier to do when you're gaming. Capture card, system, go. That's it. That's it. I mean, it depends on what are you doing. If you're going to game off a of PC or console, way easier if you're doing it off a of PC than if you're doing it off a of console, unless you have a PS4. 
and that just goes straight to stream, straight to YouTube. But Xbox doesn't go straight to YouTube. Extra, Xbox goes to Twitch and Mixer. Um, but if you're doing gaming PC, you could do all of that. You could do uh, Mixer. You could do Twitch. You know, it's up to you. But yeah, I don't mind. Whenever you get you start gaming, let me know. Zero Zone Zion says he is back. And welcome back, sir. I'm just here. And I don't know how long I'm going to be on, but I'm here. And I'm just, you know, practicing inks like always. Y'all are sitting here just watching, which is great for me. I love it. I love it when you all come visit. And everybody says, welcome back. I wish I was doing something interesting, like maybe like, you know, like Gary Shipman's uh, chair and cat stream. That was pretty funny, I guess. Y'all remember that? Did any uh, of y'all watch Gary Shipman's cat in the chair stream? Okay, Sticky Art Channel, thanks for dropping by, brother. Don't forget to leave a like, you know, and I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you for dropping by. I don't know, like I said, how long, how much longer I'm going to be on. I think the wife is due to come home in an hour or so. And then she's going to want to spend some time. Or I don't know if she's going to be in the mood. She was working all weekend dealing with knuckleheads. So I don't know what kind of mood she's going to be in. Yeah, Gary just... I uh, did a live stream and pointed the camera at his chair where his cat was sitting at. And that's that was the whole stream. <laughs> that was the whole stream. And uh, that was it. And that was the whole stream, Lady Celtic Moon. So that's why I'm not being as interesting as that. But hey. Let's see if I can get these little fine lines without having to zoom in. Yep. Oh, no. I missed that one. Control Z. Breathe. Um. Yeah, man. Ask away. Um, I don't know if I have answers, but ask. I'm sure I can Google the answer for you. Control Z. There you go. The delay is real. I <laughs> said so he could ask. I don't know if he's typing a long dissertation, um, but we're waiting with bated breath to see what the question is going to be. Uh-huh. Uh, nada. Okay. Nada. No hay nada. No hay nada. Uh, it's about confidence. How did you gain confidence? <laughs> well, Zero Saw Scion, I joined the Army when I was 18 years of age. And uh, then I became what's called an NCO. Um, and you can't leave without confidence. So... <laughs> But confidence is, is, is just something that comes with time. Uh, you have to change your mindset. Um, that's all. Confidence is a matter of mindset. You have to start believing um, in yourself and project that, and people will start believing in you. Um, you have to um, you know, believe in yourself and be knowledgeable in whatever it is that you're doing. Like if you're going to do art, you know, study art, be knowledgeable and uh, be confident in your knowledge and uh, change your mindset. Change, change the way you see yourself. That's the most important thing. You, you don't have to be cocky or arrogant or, um, you know, um, an, irrit an irritating person. You just have to believe in yourself and be knowledgeable in whatever it is you're going to do. And when you have those two things, you will sound confident. 
because people cannot dispute facts. If you know the facts and you you're knowledgeable in what you're doing, it's gonna it's gonna breed confidence. But the first step is changing how you view yourself. If you view yourself as unworthy to be listened to or looked at or uh, paid attention to or as a source of wealth of information, nobody's going to look at you in that same light as well. And like I said, it's not about being arrogant. It's not about being, uh, you know, uh, being a butthole to people. It's about changing your perspective on yourself. And then whatever it is you're speaking on, you have to be an expert in it. You have to know you have to be able to to you know point to the facts and that'll give you confidence and and i'm not confident in everything in life you know but i've been doing this streaming thing for like almost a year now and my first streams uh, you know maybe not so uh, so confident you know but see there you go i definitely feel unworthy of a lot of a lot of stuff and that and you shouldn't look at yourself as as that you know, you should never look at yourself as unworthy of anything. You know, um, that's not the way we were designed to operate in life. Um, I'm not going to bring too much of my beliefs into it. All I'm going to say is we're not designed to operate as unworthy people. We're designed to operate as people who are worthy. And the way life is set up, in my view, is everybody has a gift. And not everybody's gift is the same. And that's what makes society works, right? If Lady Celtic Moon's gift is technology, right? And my gift is talk, but I suck at technology, right? Then we then help each other out. And that's what society should be. It's about everybody's gifting, uh, working in symmetry to make that society work, right? So so my gift to talk and uh, Lady Celtic Spoon gift to work technology go together and we're able to broadcast. Or trusty sidekick's gift to draw um, characters and my imagination of making up a character. You see how I'm saying? Then it comes together. Everybody's gift is different, you know? And uh, that doesn't mean that we're lesser than or better than anybody else. It just means that we have to understand what our gift is. You know what I'm saying? And and then put that gift to work, and people will look at you. And then when you ha when you're working within your gifting, you're gonna be confident because it's your gifting, and you know how to use it. You see what I'm saying? Trusty says, if you're being a bold people, that is a sign to me that you lack confidence. Exactly. So you know you you have to be. It's, it's like I said, you just have to be you. You have to be find whatever it is that your gift is, and change your outlook on yourself. Change your personal outlook. You can't can't it'll never work if your outlook of yourself doesn't change first it's it's like loving people like marriage uh falling in love if you don't love yourself first you know and, and it says you know love others as you will love yourself but if you don't love yourself how can you love others how, how does that work when it says love others as you will love yourself if you don't love yourself then how can you love others there's a conundrum in that right and when I'm saying love yourself, I'm not saying be conceited. You know, I'm just saying, you know, take care of yourself, present yourself well, uh, see yourself in a better light. You know, don't see yourself as unworthy. Uh, you know, see yourself as a person that you are because you are a person, like I said, you know, and your gift is different than mine. My gift is different than trustees. Uh, Marania's not, that's not to say that there's people that don't share the same gifting. You know, that that is, of course, going to happen. There's going to be people that share your same gift. There's plenty of people that share your same gift. But nonetheless, you know, just because it's shared doesn't mean that you're, you're less valuable than that. You know, and some people uh, work on their gift and, and, you know, and monetize it and make it into a lifestyle. And some people use their gift for hobby and, and uh, work on other stuff, right? Um, to me, computers always made sense hardware-wise, not, not, not software-wise. And I've turned that into a career and it's been pretty good for me. Like I never feel like I'm working, you know, I enjoy um, art and uh, you know, obviously it's not my personal gift gift, uh, but I, you know, art is something that you can work at and you can get better. You know what I'm saying? Speaking is something you get at better by doing it. The more you do it, the more confident you become, the easier it comes, the better it flows, you know, 
So confidence, change your outlook of yourself first and foremost. Find your gifting and work within that gifting. That'll give you confidence to work within everything else. And understand that everybody's gift is different. And without everybody having some different gift, you're not going to be able to, society's not going to function. You know, it's just not going to work. You know, uh, Zero Soul, uh, Marianne said, it's like a comic book team. A good team is a pencil, inker, colors, and a letter. They all work together to make the finished product. Exactly. Um, thanks to your tease. I appreciate it. I like a town of confidence because of my bullying and toxic friendships and other artists sometimes. Bro, here's the thing, right? If you have toxic friends, you're better off cutting those friendships off. It sounds mean, but when it comes to your personal health and welfare, man, you know, you have to find a better group of friends. And, and you have to find people that, that are like, like that, take the digital bullpen, for example. Me, Trusty, Manny, Josh, um, all of us, you know, we, we're kind of, we're, we're like, hey, you know, let's be chill, you know, avoid the drama, let's concentrate on the art. We all believe in the same thing, right? So birds of a feather, a feather flock together. And Trusty is fairly a newcomer, but he's still an established member. But Josh, Manny, and I have been streaming together for like six, eight, nine months now. Um, you know, on each other's channels and whatnot. And uh, you know, you gotta you gotta do that. Exactly. Yeah, and that's another thing, Zero. You gotta find the positive people, people that that really have your best interest at heart, and not people who pretend to have your best interest at heart. And that comes with discernment and age, and you know, bumping your head against the wall, making mistakes, you know, learning those learning things are those things you learn the hard way through life. And life is no joke. Life is no joke. Life will, you know, hey, what did Rocky say? Life ain't about how hard you can punch. It's about how hard you get hit and you can still and still move forward. I think that's what he said. That's what Rocky said, right? Life is not about how hard you can punch. It's about how hard you can get hit and still move forward, right? Because life is going to beat you down. But if you stay down, that's when you lose, you know, and you get up no matter how hard you get hit. If you always get up, you know, your life is going to improve, you know, and, and that's figurative. You know, of course, um, that that's just the way that is. But ser on, on a serious, uh, seriously, seriously, you know, those are things that, you know, and, and you have to learn to ignore the negativity. Some people use it to feed themselves and get better, and some people let it consume them, you know? For me, I just ignore it. You know, freak, I'm 50 years old, man. What are you going to do to me that life hasn't already done? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, whatever, dude. I don't care. I've been to combat. Like, what, what is somebody on the internet going to do? They going to say mean things about me? I've been to combat. People try to kill me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens on the internet means nothing. It just means nothing. It puts everything in perspective, you know? It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and I understand not everybody has had my experiences in life. And you're probably a young kid. You know, you're probably a young cat. Um, and you're going to have your own um, your own experiences. You know what I'm saying? And, and those experiences are going to help develop your character. You know, you learn from everybody. You learn from the bad people. You learn from the good people. When I was in the army and I was a young soldier, there were people in charge of me who I thought were horrible leaders, right? What did I learn from them? I learned what not to do when I became a leader, right? It was still a valuable lesson, you know? Oh, Art Now Sleep Later says, hello from Twitch. Man, thank you for joining us from Twitch, man. I greatly appreciate it. We're streaming everywhere. We're streaming on Facebook. We're streaming on uh, on YouTube, um, Twitch. And uh, yo, thank you for joining us. It means so much that someone actually found us on Twitch. That is, that's freaking amazing. That is freaking amazing. We were just having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with one of the subs, um, you know, and... and um, and just talking about positivity. Oh, well, thanks, man. No, well, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, that you were acknowledged because, uh, you know, restreaming has a little bit of laggy. 
but yeah, Lady Celtic Moon says she's been an officer in prison. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You know, um, you, you, you learn from the bad people, you learn from the good people. Uh, you take all your lessons learned and you move forward with the best of, of what you've learned, you know, and that's all I'm trying to say. But first thing you got to do is look at yourself and change the way you look at yourself. I used to tell people, it didn't matter what job I had, how much they paid me, right? As long as I was able to go home and look in the mirror and say, have I done everything I could possibly do to take care of my family? If the answer was yes, nothing else mattered. The answer was no. The next thing is, what can I do to make sure tomorrow when I get up, I don't fail in that goal? And that, that's it. You know, it takes time. Uh, it's hard because people think that because I'm 25. Well, bro, young people deal with a lot more issues because you guys are still developing. And you haven't you haven't had enough time to develop thick skin yet. And in this society, you know, feelings are running amok. Um when I was growing up, people were saying all kinds of stuff. You know, my skin was super thick by the time I was already 20. I mean, I was in the army at 18. I had to deal with people calling me all kinds of names because I was Puerto Rican and, you know, they were not. Uh, and I had a way stronger accent back then than I do now. So so you develop thick skin, bro, and, and you will. But the thing is, like I said, Take a look at yourself and change the way you look at yourself. When you change the way you look at yourself, it projects outward and people will change the way they look at you. And if people are still looking at you in some kind of way and you don't like it, just cut them off, man. Life is way too short to spend time and energy on people that don't want what's best for you or don't want to help you out. It's just way too short. It's just way too short, way too short. I even stopped drawing for this. This is serious business to me. This is serious business. Um, you know, you you definitely, that's the thing you got to do first. Change your outlook. Change your outlook about yourself. And understand that the road to success is paved with your failures. Okay? And, and that's another important lesson. When I say the road to success is paved with your failures, it goes back to that Rocky's quote. It doesn't mean it... it Life is not about how hard you can punch. It's about how hard you can get hit and still keep moving forward. So what do I mean by your road to success is paid by your failures? You're not going to succeed first time go on anything you do in life. Art takes time. And the more time you put in it, the better it is. So if you fail, you know, on a drawing, guess what? You do it again. The next time is a little bit better. Then it's still not what you want, you do it again. Next time it's a little bit better. Still not what you want, you do it again, you know, until you get that perfect drawing, right? How many times you see me erase a line when I'm inking? Two, three times until I get the line that I want. Because I failed once, twice, three times, but the third time was a success. So, so you have to move forward. So you take the failure, you put it down on this dirt road, and now you have a nice brick road to your success because it just it you're not gonna you're not gonna succeed every time on the first time, you know, unless you've had some serious mentorship, and even then, you know, with a mentor helping you out, you're still gonna stumble and bumble, and they're still gonna have to pick you up, and they're still gonna have to mentor you, and they're still gonna have to push you forward. But if you don't have that, you have to understand that you got to get up, just take that failure, put it down. Okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, let's fix it. You fail again, but you know what? You're moving one step closer to your success. That that's that takes time. That takes effort. And that's what people lack nowadays. They lack the time and conviction to put in the effort. You have to put in the effort. Every day, I'm inking something. Why? Because I would love to be a professional inker, even though I'm I'm 50 and I'm old. And the likelihood of that ever happening, you know, is zero, zero, to, zero to none, right? Zero to none. But I'm going to practice. I'm going to keep putting my inking videos out. And maybe one day someone will say, hey, you know what? I'm going to have Ortiz ink my stuff. And I'll be like, yo, 
awesome, you know? Even if it's an indie comic, I don't care. But if it gets printed, that's a success. I was like, yo, I succeeded, finally. You know, if it takes 10 years, you know? But um, uh, definitely thank you so much, E. I appreciate your answer. It means a lot, and it helps, too. I'm glad. And Miranda says, I like that quote. Yep. Uh, I try to live by that quote every day. If you can focus on the positive, you'll see more positive. Indeed. And you know what? Art now, sleep later. Yeah, I blame next day shipping too, man. Instant gratification is is a is just spoiling people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was funny that he said he blames next day shipping. You know, but okay. Anyway, I'm gonna step off my <coughs> my soapbox because I, I started preaching, and you know, I don't, I don't want to preach too much. As I drink my hour warm soda, <laughs> and. <laughs> and uh but yeah i hope that helped um you know um and uh at any time man anytime you need to ask questions like that man feel free you know we manny and myself and and most of the people that hang on the digital bullpen we're older gentlemen we're 50 and up we've had a lot of life experiences um we're not saying that we're gonna have the right answer for you every time but you know ask away man if and if we have some some light we can share with you, man, uh, why not? I mean, you know, just because it's an art stream doesn't mean that I can't can't help out somehow with something. My mom sent me a <laughs> uh, sent me a Facebook Messenger. Let me type that in because <laughs> I'm that's then that's the that's the the thing about streaming on different platforms, you know, you you gotta try to at least uh, acknowledge everybody. Man, I'm glad somebody found me on Twitch, man. Yo, art now, sleep later. You made my day, cause I think you might be like the only person on Twitch that uh, that has found me. So, man, you don't know how much that means to me. I, you you're greatly appreciated. Yeah, Miranda, there you go. You know. You have that. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you you just gotta you gotta take those small victories. You know, you gotta celebrate them, and then you gotta try to make them into bigger victories. All right, Art now says hi. I always scroll for new streamers on Twitch. Glad to find you, man. I'm glad you found me. Shoot, hey, man, it makes my day. It might not make anybody's day whenever they get a new uh, a new. But you know, I'm just new on Twitch. I mean, I've had Twitch for a while, but I've never really tried streaming on Twitch because I just don't think that there's a lot of artists on Twitch. And I could be wrong. <laughs> yep. Miranda's right. Draw every day. I ink every day. That's why I bought an iPad. My wife is like, you don't need an iPad. I'm like, baby, I'm, I'm getting an iPad. And uh, so, <laughs> because I can ink on an iPad uh, on with Procreate and uh and I've been using it. I've been dogging that iPad. I've been using it every day. And I'll be on it right now if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted to te test out um, this multicast system and and uh, and see how it would work out, you know. But it's 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 good, man. I, I admit. But, yeah, Mariano is correct. Drawing is not – it's something you got to do every single day, every day, every day. I got drawing books that I have to go back and look because I try to draw. I mostly like inking, but I try to draw. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I still got a long way to go on drawing too. Uh, I, you know, it is what it is. Um, not everybody is a per you know, not everybody can be Manny or Josh uh, off the rip. Eventually, I want to get good enough to draw my own character, but that's why I commissioned Krusty to uh, to do my character to see what it would look like. With a you know someone that has pro level type talent, you know what it would look like if someone did it, you know, and uh, and I was very happy. I'm happy with what he's doing so far. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, and of course my old self is over here squinting at this. I got a 22 inch drawing tablet and I still got to squint when I'm drawing small lines. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Oh, you, you want me to list? It should be on my description way at the bottom, but you know what? I don't know what my mixer name is. 
Um, do, 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 do. And I don't know if I'm going to keep streaming on Mixer because Mixer is uh, kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it's Jay Rican 51. So, um, so I'm right now as Jay Rican 51 on uh, on Twitch. Oh, excuse me, on Twitch and Mixer. But Mixer, I don't know about Mixer. Uh, and of course, uh, on Facebook, it's mostly for my friends and family who, do, who will never go to freaking YouTube. Um, so there's that. You know? Oh, I can see myself on Twitch. What the? <laughs> I can see myself on Mixer, I mean. Holy smokes. That looks good. Yeah, it's J Weekend 51 on Twitch and Mixer. <laughs> it's, uh, of course, you know me on YouTube. Um, where else am I streaming? Oh, and that's it. And, of course, my Facebook. But my Facebook, like I said, is it's for my family. It's for people that don't, that don't ever want to go on YouTube. Or take time out, but they're always on Facebook scrolling. Like, oh, I'm on Facebook scrolling, wasting my day. I'm like, hey, why don't I do uh, our stream on? And maybe you can stop by, uh, you know, my stream while you're on Facebook and <laughs> and give me a little bit of love, you know. And then maybe, maybe go to my YouTube channel one day. Uh, who knows? But that's it, really. Um, now, if I pay, I can I can go straight to my Eortis Arts on Facebook. Oh, thanks, man. There you go. So now you have different platforms. If you don't like YouTube and you want to be on Twitch to follow me on, uh, and you want to be on Twitch, check in the album's Twitch. And she says, boot on the Twitch. I love this little restream, man, because I can tell who's going from where, you know. Um, so you can look at it here and uh, you can see the little symbols, the little Twitch symbol, YouTube symbol. <laughs> uh, it's I like that little part. I, I do enjoy that, to be honest with you. The only one that doesn't come up is Facebook, and I think you have to pay for that interface. I'm glad you followed me on Twitch, Zero Soul Scion. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing more more Twitch Twitch related stuff. Um, who knows? More to follow. I know Josh and I are definitely going to do it. Uh, I don't know if the Manny and and everybody else is going to want to do it. Uh, some people don't like Twitch. And I don't know enough about it. Oh, you're you're streaming on Twitch? There you go. Like, what do you stream? You just stream like uh, gaming? What what are you doing over there? I don't really do anything on Twitch. Like I said, uh, I've had it, but uh, you know, and I want to start doing interviews again. I want to do uh, I stream games. I'm going to stream that art one day too. Hey, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You can stream games on Twitch and stream art on YouTube. You know, hey, it is what it is, man. I said, it takes time, man. Time, patience, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I, and people will make fun of you because it's the internet. You got trolls everywhere. There's nothing you can do about that. That's why I said, who cares what they think? You know, like I said, who cares what they think? Oh, no. There you go. I'm probably be getting off soon. My wife should be getting home any minute. Sonic 2 is money what I stream. I wanted to stream R2, but I have to uh, try it while Santa to spy my sketches. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's uh that's that's crazy right there. I know the tripods and whatnot. You say these are your personal characters. Who which one? Uh which characters? This that I'm drawing, no. These are inks over uh Paul Pelletier pencils. Um the stuff that's on Twitch, the old stuff with my boy Ink and Ear, yeah, that's that's my character. Um I don't know what you're seeing on Twitch because it's been a while uh, since I've been on Twitch. Uh, Twitch. But if you're talking about the Borinkin ear stuff, uh, yeah, that's my character. 
No, what I'm streaming now, no. This is Paul Pelletier pencils, um, and I'm just inking over them. Let me do my little disclaimer. Boom. <laughs> yeah, there's my little disclaimer right there. Paul Pelletier pencils, uh, my inks. I, I'm just a guy that likes to draw inks. All right, now sleep later. I'm an inker. You know, I'm, at least I'm trying to be. I know it's not as glamorous as drawing pencils and all that stuff, but, you know, um, I like inking. To me, it's, it's kind of relaxing. So, you know. But what I do is I find um, I find pencils online. And, uh, ooh, I need to make it smaller. Uh, oh. I find... Um, Oh, what, the, the banner? I can't. I can't make the banner. <laughs> I can't make the banner smaller, but I can take it off. There, it's gone. Uh, let me get the chat back up and going. Oh, so inkers are great. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I find pencil harder than the inking. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it is to me. Um, penciling is a little hard, but it could be done. Inking is fun. I, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, so what I just do is I find, like I said, uh, some inks online, uh, pencils online, and then I just draw my inks. This is the third. Um, so this is Paul Pelletier, and he's got a lot of pages from uh, Fearless, The Fearless, uh, number seven, page 12, Paul Pelletier. I don't know if y'all could read that, but let me um, let me turn the pencils back on. There you go. This is the pencils. I just had blue lines on it. So this is the Fearless from Marvel, a number, uh, issue number seven, story page 12 by Paul Pelletier. This is the third one I found of this issue. So this is the third inking I've done of him. <laughs> so, you know, I, I enjoy it. I'm pretty sure Marvel is going to come knock on my door one day and tell me I need to stop it. I need to stop taking their stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully not. Um, I'm on the wrong layer. Boo, control C. And back to here. Because being on the wrong layer sucks. And like I said, my spouse should be coming home any minute. So I think that I, I am going to cut off in a minute. Um, you know, because she's been working on. I got to get us dinner, too. <sighs> All right. So my wife should be getting home in a minute. And I do have to get her dinner. Because I'm not cooking. I don't cook on the weekends. That's that's not that's a no-go. Uh, you're not making money off it the way they would. Who would? You need to make it smaller. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not making any money off of this. I am I am in a for a nonprofit streamer. Like I said, I'm just a dude that chills and does this. Yeah. I'm just a dude that chills and does this. But um I've been going on yeah, two hours is, is the max I'm on the stream for the day. I appreciate everybody that came by, man. Y'all mean a lot to me. Um uh, Especially the guy from Twitch. Uh, all right, now sleep later. I mean, thank you so much. Uh, I hope that you um, tell some other people about us tomorrow. The digital bullpen will, will be open, and there'll be more artists. We it's four of us that draw. I, three of us, three of them actually draw original art, and I just ink. Um, so you should enjoy that. You can check us out. And. Um, but this was a, I think this was wonderful, man. I thank everybody that stopped by, Zero Soul Zion, Native Celtic Moon, Maranya, all you guys. All right, cool, man. Hey, if you mention me, I greatly appreciate it, man. Um, it's AORT is on YouTube um, in case because I usually stream more on YouTube. I'm trying to stream more on Twitch. But if uh, they can find me on YouTube, that would be awesome. Um, it's just ERTs. Uh, e Space Ortiz on YouTube, and they'll be able to find my artwork. It's all over the place, I think. Anyway, art now, sleep later. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much <laughs> for, for coming in. And um, 
and, and making my day. You just made my, all of you made my day. But anyway, I have to cut out, like I said, two hours. And I definitely want to spend some time with the wife when she gets home. I don't want her upset at me because, you know, I did, even though I did all my errands and my chores and I clean and everything, I'm pretty sure she's going to come home hungry. I'm going to have to get her something to eat. So with that being said, I want to thank y'all again. Um, God bless and good night. And I will see y'all on Monday on Good Dog Press. All right. Later, all.